Thanks for staying with us. We're joined now by Chief Meteorologist Jason Myers. Earlier, Jason said if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all regarding our weather today. But as you mentioned, we do have it a lot better than places like Minneapolis yeah. and Wisconsin. Yeah, Minneapolis actually had blizzard warnings this past weekend. Some of those locations picked up about 20 inches. Even Wisconsin had some reports up to 32 inches of snow over the weekend. And yet, not fun for us here locally. We've been dealing with this snow. You can see this is a live look at the Fort Banks Sky View from EKU's campus, showing kind of another round of snow showers moving through the area. I want to show you this one hour time lapse, and you can see how the snow comes through. It puts down a kind of a quick burst of snow in a short amount of time, reducing visibilities, and then it starts to clear out again, and then you've got kind of another round of heavy snow that moves through. So we've had these kind of bursts of snow at times this afternoon, really reducing visibilities for drivers. Still seeing some snow out there moving from west to east. The snow will diminish, though, as the evening progresses, and by about 8 o'clock, most of the snow will be finished. Of course, it's kind of a rainy weekend. We have especially a lot of rain late Saturday into Sunday. Jackson to Madison County had over 2 inches. Rowan County just under two. Casey and uh, Fayette County picked up about an inch and a half to just over one inch as well for Franklin County. So a good soaking rain. Many lo locations about one to two inches of rain. Today, another big story along with the snow have been the wind gusts at times up around 35 miles per hour. Sustained winds at times up around 10 to 20. Right now we're seeing wind gusts that range anywhere from about 20 to 30 miles per hour. It does make it feel much colder when you factor in the steady wind or even wind gusts. We have wind chills right now that make it feel like the lower 20s. Areas like Richmond, London, it's 23 degrees, 24 from Jackson to 29, the current wind chill, and more ahead to 25 degrees in Lexington. So, again, that's the feel like temperature. Actually, feels more like the low to mid 20s. Today, though, it has been a cold afternoon, our high 42 degrees. That was actually just after midnight, close to about 1.30 in the morning. Then cooler air continued to move in. Our low temperature of the day, that was actually at 2 o'clock this afternoon after we had some of the snow showers moving through and temperatures outside right now in the lower 30s for many locations. It's 34 in Lexington and Richmond to 32 degrees in Somerset. We're right at the freezing mark for Harlan, also at 32. And with cold temperatures overnight, Freeze warnings have been issued once again overnight into Tuesday morning with overnight lows in the upper 20s. Satellite and radar showing a low pressure system to our north. That counterclockwise rotation around low pressure continuing to give us these snow showers, but that will move further away from us as we continue overnight, kind of bringing an end to these snow showers. By midnight, we'll see some clearing with overnight lows in the upper 20s. A steady breeze stays around, so wind chills will make it feel more like the upper teens to lower 20s as we continue into Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, sunshine, a cool afternoon, highs around 56 degrees, but that's still about 20 degrees milder than where we've been at this afternoon, and the sunshine will make it feel better. Now, it will be another windy day at times for your Tuesday, and that may make it feel a little cooler, so once again, you'll need the jacket Tuesday afternoon. As we go overnight Tuesday into your Wednesday, we'll see a few passing clouds. Overnight lows around 44, chilly start to Wednesday, but a milder Wednesday afternoon. We'll see increasing clouds later in the day on Wednesday. High is around 70 degrees. Not showing much with any rain here on Futurecast, but later in the day, later in the day on Wednesday, we could see just a few rain showers. Overnight lows will be around 28 degrees. It's going to be a cold night again. That freeze warning is in effect overnight into Tuesday morning, mid 50s for your Tuesday afternoon under mostly sunny skies. It stays cool again, a little windy at times for your Tuesday afternoon. 70 degrees on Wednesday. Another cold front will move across the area late Wednesday, so we'll go from 70 Wednesday back into the 50s, but drier Thursday, Friday. We save the temperatures in the mid to upper 50s and then lower 60s this week. And so overall, a drier work week which is great news if you have outdoor activities going on or if you're maybe heading to Keeneland this weekend. And better yet, a warmer weekend, which is yes. what we all want. Thankfully, yes. <laughs> all right, thank you, Jason. Well, it does.